Okay, thanks, Denise. And next group, we're going to be going over two examples on uh, chain rule uh, for differentiation. So before we get started um, on the examples, let's take a look at uh, the formula, okay, for the chain rule, or the rule, basically, okay? So um, for the composite function, for f composed with g of x, okay, which is, it can also be written at f of g of x. All right, um, let's, let's call the inner function g of x be u, okay? So let g of x be u. So the function that comes second in the order of composition is the inner function. So this is the outer function, this is the inner function. Outer, inner, or you can think about this as the parent function and this is the input function. Okay, so what if we assign the uh, inner function a variable, letter u, okay? Then what can what does the chain rule tell us? Well, it tells us that f of g of x, the derivative of f of g of x, so f prime of g of x, is equal to the derivative of the parent function, only the inner function fixed, times the derivative of the inner function. Okay. So notice here I wrote f prime of u. This Calling the inner function u helps me blind um, myself to the fact that this is a function. It just looks like a variable. And then after differentiating the outer function, keeping the inner fixed, then I'll multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. All right. Now this is known as the prime, the prime notation. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and use the um, Leibniz notation. Okay. Using the same idea, um, here, let's say that um, y is, f, we know that y is f of x, right? y is equal to f of x. So using the Leibniz notation, um, dy dx is going to be um, dy du, keeping in mind the fact that um, y is a composite function okay so let's just let me just alter this a little bit so y is f of g of x so y is a composite function f of g of x which i can write as um f of u okay so dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx okay guess what these two formulas are exactly the same thing this the y du basically means that you're differentiating y with respect to u. Your variable in this case is just is a is u, which is the uh, the inner function or the input function, and then the u dx is the same thing as the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so what this is basically telling you is that this piece right here is f prime of u. Okay, and then this piece right here is what it is is u prime. Okay. And then if you look at this notation right here, f prime of u, this is dy du. And then this other portion right here is du dx. So these two formulas are telling us exactly the same thing. Okay, some people prefer the prime notation and some people prefer the Leibniz notation. This right here is known as a Leibniz notation. Some people prefer this notation. So whichever notation you like, um, feel free to use it. All right, but if you want to do it mentally, it's much easier to use the Leibniz notation if you're computing the chain rule mentally, okay? So the two examples on So for question two, we have uh, find y prime, which is the same thing as the y dx uh, for y equals to square root of x squared plus 3x. All right, um, so Let's see. So for this function, uh, let's identify the u first, and then we're going to uh, find y prime using the two methods, okay? So let's write it like this. y is equal to the square root of x squared plus 3x. All right, so let's take a look at this expression, this equation. Uh, can you identify what the u is here? Can you identify the inner function and the outer function? Can you identify the input and the parent function? So you notice that this uh, quadratic function right here is your input function, all right? And then the radical function is your uh, parent function. 
So let's identify what they are. So u is equal to x squared plus 3x. All right? Because that's the inner function. And then the parent function is y of u. y is equal to the square root of u. Okay? So let's use the u dx. Oh, sorry, I can't call that. So the u dx, if we want to use the Leibniz notation, the u dx is simply 2x plus 3. And then the y dx, I'm sorry, the y du, derivative of u of y with respect to u. Um, we can write this as, uh, I can write this as u to the 1 half. So we can apply the power rule here. So the derivative of that is 1 half u to the negative 1 half which equals 1 over 2 root x when you apply the reciprocal property of, ex of exponents and then you apply the nth root property of exponents, you end up with this expression right here, okay? So if I wanted to use the Leibniz notation, the answer is going to be this times, wait a minute, <laughs> sorry, this is supposed to be u for the verb of u. So if I wanted to apply the um, Leibniz notation, the answer will be this multiply by that and I'll just plug this into that right here. So 1 over 2 roots x squared plus 3x times 2x plus 3. That's the answer basically. Okay. Well let me show you all the steps. Um, we have not yet mastered the whole process so we can't be jumping to the answer yet. So method 1 I'm going to use the prime notation. Okay. If you like the prime notation you can use that or otherwise just use the Leibniz notation or do it mentally. Alright so the prime notation um, is what we're going to apply here. So let's refresh our memory as to what the prime notation is. So y prime is the same thing as um, is going to be f prime of u that's the derivative of the parent times u prime derivative of the input or the inner function. In this problem y is equal to the square root of u. Okay? So um, Let's write this as uh, u to the one half for e with um, differentiation. So y prime is going to be u. Let me use the other color so you can understand this. So it's going to be um, u to the one half prime, u to the one half, that prime. Remember, u to the one half is the same thing as square root of u, okay? Times what? Times the derivative of the inner function. Okay, u prime. So this is the derivative of the outer hold and the inner fixed times the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so this is how the chain rule is uh, using the prime notation. So let's go ahead and do it. So y prime, if you apply the power rule to u to the one half, you're going to have, what are we going to have? One half u to the negative one half times u prime. Okay, let's simplify it a little bit more. This can be written as one over 2 root u times u prime. Okay? All right, so now that we've done, we're done applying the chain rule, we're going to reinsert the value of u into the equation. So what is u again? Uh, let's see, what was u? u is x squared plus 3x. Okay, so y prime is going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of x squared plus 3x times um, x squared plus 3x prime. All right, so there you have it. Okay, so I just changed the color so it's easy for you to see. Now what I just did is I just put the value of u back into the function. All right, we're not done because we have, we still have a polynomial to differentiate. We still have to differentiate the inner function, okay? So if we go ahead and differentiate that, we're going to have y, Change the color. We're going to have um, y prime equals um, the derivative of x squared plus 3x is power root here 2x plus power root here 3. That entire expression divided by uh, 2 times the square root of x squared plus 3x. All right, so there goes your final answer. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and we're going to apply the <coughs> we're going to apply the um, Leibniz notation in differentiating this problem. 
and then you can do it whichever method you like, okay? All right, so let's try this using the Leibniz notation. Remember, it's the same thing, it just looks different with the way it's being written, okay? So method two, method two is Leibniz. All right, so what on earth is the Leibniz notation again? Let's refresh our memory as to what the Leibniz notation is. So it just basically tells us that uh, the, the y is a composite function, dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply to this problem. So dy du, dy dx is equal to d du of the function with respect to u, the parent function with respect to u. Let's use um, the u to the one half version. I prefer that because it's easier to apply the power rule on that, right? All right, times du dx, uh, the derivative of the inner function. So it's going to be d dx of what, on, what is u? u, we determined that u should be x squared plus 3x, so d dx of x squared plus 3x. We already know what the values of this uh, derivatives are because we did it earlier, right? Um, when I was showing you how to do it mentally, see? The u dx right here, this entire expression we know is 2x plus 3. The y du, this entire expression we know is 1 over 2 root u. All right, but I'm just showing you all the steps. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish it off. So the y dx is equal to the derivative of that using the power rule is um, one half u to the negative one half, all right? Times derivative of this, this is two x plus three, right? All right, let's just simply uh, address this up. dy dx, dy dx equals, if I write this, I can write this as um, one over two root u, so it's gonna be two x plus three divided by to root root u, okay? But I know that u is x squared plus 3x, so I need to put that back. So my final answer will be 2x plus 3 divided by 2 times the square root of the value of u, which is x squared plus 3x, okay? So that's how you have it uh, using the two methods, okay? So whichever one you like, you can always use. So there you go. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can always feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cool calc clips such as this. Uh, please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation or click like if you liked it. And also share uh, with your friends via your respective social networking programs. More clips can be found at myself.com slash calculus. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.